starring Bob Hope. Gosh, it's warm. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob. Now hear this. Broadcasting. Broadcasting on the deck of the battleship South Dakota in San Francisco Harbor Hope. Yes, sir. Well, tonight we're on the battleship South Dakota. South Dakota, that's a Japanese term meaning run fast, Mitsui, or get large bullet and kimono tail. The, uh... The South Dakota really sits low in the water. It's like every time a high sea comes up, the crew starts drawing submarine pay. And the discipline aboard ship is very strict. No girls after 10 o'clock. They told me last week that the fellas up here loved me and would like to see me broadcast in the bay, but I finally talked them into putting a ship under me. And I feel right at home here in the bay. In fact, my brother is just a rock throw from here. told me he was going to swim over, but I, I guess those vines have tender guards. I really wanted to spend a typical day with these sailors, but they didn't have any extra paintbrush for me. Yes, sir, these guys paint so much they spit turpentine. When Kelowna stepped on board, one guy ran up from force of habit and dipped his mustache in a bucket of red lead. But it's very comfortable aboard. These fellas sleep in bunks. You know what a bunk is. That's a dehydrated orange crate. I slept in one of those bunks last night, and I won't say it was crowded, but every time the guy next to me turned over, I had to get out of bed and wait for his hip to go by. <laughs> and I, I went to mess with these boys tonight, and they've really got a wonderful system in the Navy. Instead of putting things on separate plates, they just pile the meat and potatoes and dessert all in one dish. Then they pour your coffee over it. Way, you don't have to eat it. You just inhale it through a funnel. And I don't know if these guys have ravenous appetites or not, but after the meal was over, four sailors were saluting with only three fingers. What appetites? I felt someone unlacing my shoe, and when I looked under the table, a chow hound was putting mustard on my big toe. Thank you. Francis Langford, right here.
was our Francis Langford singing If I Loved You. That was wonderful. I knew these fellows would like you, Francis. What made you so sure, Bob? Well, it's been such a long time since they've seen a dish that isn't dehydrated. <laughs> Say, that's the new dress you're wearing, isn't it, Francis? Yes, huh? Bob. I call this my battleship dress. Yeah, well, it certainly shows plenty of superstructure. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing. And you're having quite a time on board, aren't you? Say, what were you doing on the bridge this afternoon? Oh, one of the officers was just showing me how to box the compass. Really? Where are they sending him? <laughs> oh, he was an awfully sweet Oh, wait boy. for that jazzy joke. Don't run into that. Where are they sending it? <laughs> Go well, now. Well, he was an awfully sweet boy. After we finished bo- boxing the compass, <laughs> I told you. I know. After it's we finished uh, boxing the compass. Boxing the right, compass. So. If he gets stuck, throw it in there anyway. It's all right. He took me up to show me the moon. He took you up to show you the moon, huh? Mm. Forward? Well, you know these Navy men. I should never expect a straight line from a figure like that. Hiya, gang. What's the latest scuttlebutt? Well, here's Skinny Ennis. How about you, Skinny boy? How you feel? You got your bones squared away? Say, uh... Are you just visiting Skinner, or has this ship got a skeleton crew? Say, Skinny, isn't this exciting broadcasting from a battleship? Sure is, Francis. In commemoration of this visit, I had half of the South Dakota tattooed on my chest. Only half? What happened, Skinny? Did the man run out of ink? No, Francis. Skinny ran out of chest. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a real thrill to present one of the many great heroes of the Third Fleet, an outstanding flyer whose courage and daring as an air group commander, one in the Navy Cross, Distinguished Flying Cross, Legion of Merit, and the Congressional Medal of Honor, the Navy's leading ace, Commander Dave McCampbell. That's you, David, right there. <laughs> Wasn't that a swell thing? Thank huh? you, Bob. That's all right. You can tell he's from the South, can't you, huh? Nobody's going to rush him ever. (laughs) Looks like he's waiting around the oven for the corn pone or something. Well, I'm happy to be here, Bob. Well, I'm glad to have you, and I'm sure these fellas are, too. Do you really think so, Bob? Sure, after all, it's quite a novelty for them to sit and watch a commander work. (laughs) But I guess you'll be getting out soon, huh? No, Bob, I'm in the regular Navy. It's my career, just like radio is your career. Uh-huh. I was schooled and prepared for this war, just like you prepare all week long for your Tuesday night program. That's your war. <laughs> my radio program, War? <laughs> You're kidding. I got these scars in Vaudeville. Say, uh... <laughs> Tell me, Commander McCampbell, where do you hail from? Well, Bob, I was raised in Florida. Really? And how old were you when you came to the United States? <laughs> it was different, but the Chamber of Commerce got to me. Bob, you've been in Florida. Tell me, what's the difference between a Florida girl and a California girl? Well, when you squeeze a Florida girl, orange juice comes out of her ears. And what happens when you squeeze a California girl? A lawyer comes out from behind the sofa and sues you for breach of promise. to hurry with that boy. Well, I like Florida, Bob. In fact, I took my training at Pensacola, became a carrier pilot, then a landing signal officer. Mm -hmm. Sweating in those planes was no sense either. And those new fighter planes, they take a lot of handling. Well, I always thought it was easy riding around the sky in one of those things. Do you know anyone who flies, Bob? Well, I have a nodding acquaintance with W.C. (laughs) Fields. I nod, then he nods, and I pick him up again. Say, but tell me, uh, David, now that the war is over, uh, what do you plan to do? I don't know exactly. I'm afraid I'm just about through combat flying. Through flying. Have you met Francis Langford yet, huh? (laughs) Gee, Commander, did I hear you say you were from Florida? That's right, Francis. So you're a Florida cracker? Yep, I'm a Florida cracker. Gee, I love crackers. I go for crackers myself. Can a crumb get in here edgewise? I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida, Francis. Really? I'm from Lakeland, Florida. We're neighbors. Neighbors? Well, honey child, I'm coming over to borrow a little sugar. Yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, I'll get my ration book and hat and go with you. <laughs> you know, Francis, I think you ought to keep your eye on this guy. Oh, why, Bob? Can't you see he's got the good conduct ribbon on? Yeah, but he's wearing it a half mask. <laughs> Francis, can we go somewhere where we could be alone? Well, we are now, practically. <laughs> How about letting me, say, show you around the ship? Now, listen, uh, Dave, I can show Francis around. I know all about everything in this ship. Watch, Francis, I'll demonstrate the controls on this turret. Careful, Bob, those guns are loaded. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'll just wheel them around. Watch out, Bob, you're aiming at the top of the mark. I know what I'm doing, Francis. <laughs> well, the top of the mark looks good in the bottom, too. I'd like to be. I want to be a sailor and put out to sea. But there's just one thing that always, always troubles me. It's the hell of We're going for a walk. Must do yachta, 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 talk, talk, talk. When we're sitting close together in a cozy patch together. Must do yachta, 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 Aristotle, mathematics, economics, and the chair. The classic, the common, and all in the chair. There's a brand new moon this evening. And the weather should be fine. If you yakata, 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 same old line. How politely close your lips with mine. Yakata, 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 chin, chin, chin. I'll attempt another evening, and I'll call for you at night. If you yakata, 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 same old line, I'll slightly close your lips with mine. Well, Bob. Here we are, a couple of sailors back on good old U.S. soil. 
You gonna kiss the ground? No, I ain't gonna waste my pucker on anything I'm not essential. <laughs> Let's call up some local 4 O's, huh? There's a phone booth. Someone's in it out. I'll squeeze in. Oops. Pardon me, sailor. Oops, and pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> Operator, Jimmy Dunbar, 0656. Hello. Hello, Maisie. This is Bob Hope. I gotta see you. But I'm married now and have five children. Yeah, that's what I gotta see you about. I need the points. <laughs> well, I'll try my next number. Hello. Hello. My nervous. Hello. This luscious lips. Say your honey boy is home and he just can't wait to see you. Ah, oh, Bob, you're getting my face all wet. <laughs> Skinny, get out of here and find another booth. I'll call my ritzy Knob Hill number. Hello, operator. Will you give me simply 2222? Gee, Bob, she lives on Knob Hill. She must be a baby talk. Yeah, I bet she's got a butler and everything. Hello, is that you, Rose Budlitz? Here's a big kiss for you. Uh, thank you, sir. Now, whom did you wish to speak to? <laughs> Oh, hello. Is this the snob of the knob? Yes. Is this the dead beat of the fleet? <laughs> Look, this is one of those handsome sailors just home from the war. How about you and me getting squared away, baby, and we'll drop anchors together tonight? Well, you sound rather cute. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Never mind that. Just get me in. I'll do the squeezing. Well, I'd like to, but I've got a date with the soldier tonight. Goodbye. She's got a date with a soldier. How do you like that? They'll be going out, going out with civilians next. She can't do this to me. I'll go up there. Hey, taxi! 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 Come in! Come in! Taxi cab, sir? <laughs> Will you take me to the Mog Mog Apartments on Knob Hill? Uh-huh. That's a lovely little rest island in the South Pacific. I want to go up there right away. Uh-huh. I'll just bet we're going to see a little girlsy woolsy. How can you tell? By the way, you're droozy woolsy. Mm. <laughs> well, hop in, Hope. What do you want? The 50 cent ride or the dollar ride? What's the difference? For the dollar ride, I put the wheels on. <laughs> Professor, whenever I look at you, I can only think of a nice, quiet, padded cell in the booby hatch. I know how it is, Hope. I've been homesick myself. <laughs> Hello, this is where we turn. This is the corner. Well, I'll put my hand out. On fingernail. <laughs> Professor, you just became eligible for the rating of imbecile third class. Thanks, Ensign. <laughs> well, stop, Colonna. Here's the house. You wait here while I go knock. Yes? Oh, hi, above. I'm Robert Hope. Shake hands. I uh, beg pardon, sir. I am the footman. Okay, let's shake feet. <laughs> Oh, hi, honey. Oh, you better leave. My date will be here any minute. Your date? What kind of stuff is that? Announcing the Don Juan of the Presidio. The world's greatest lover. The man who drives women mad. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Or is that an embarrassing question? Now, I'm a general educator, a current, a mummy, a cat, a loop, loop, a lulu, a something, sort, a private sad sack. Well, what do you want, brother? Well, I came here to see my friends, friends, friends. Is your daughter in, Mrs. Langford? Is a San Francisco socialite. Oh, I don't believe you're in society at all, Sack. Tell me, how'd you ever get up here on Knob Hill? Well, you see, I, I was a baby, a baby, a born in the enemy, 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 and my family are a very old uh, settler. Uh, settle, and I, I own the whole uh, 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 I was left here by a high tide. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, Sack, you sure talk funny. Oh, oh yes, it's awful. You know, yesterday I started the beat, the beat. If he, if he vibrating like this, while I was uh, 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 kissing a girl. You started vibrating like that while you were kissing her? What happened? Oh, oh she was horrified. Uh, horrif- uh, 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 she was very embe- 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 uh, 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 She was more than... Uh, uh, more, uh, more, uh. <laughs> she uh, li- uh, li- loved it. <laughs> well, what do you see in Francis anyway, Zach? Oh, oh well, uh, you see, uh, uh, she has such beautiful... Uh, <laughs> 
Well, her hair, yes. Her big blue eyes. I, 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 I. Well, uh, uh, Ruby Lily. Well, she's got uh, Ruby Lily. Uh, the the the. Uh, the... <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Say, Hope, my taxi cab is still waiting. Are you coming down with your girl, or shall I get one and come up? Hello, Professor. This is Private Sad Sack. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, the city this size and no dog catcher. <laughs> come on, take us all down to the dock, Colonna. We'll go back to the South Dakota for dinner. Okay, hop in. Okay, Colonna, stop. We're here. Oh, Hope, don't be silly. I'll take you right up on the deck. Hello to the South Dakota, three miles out of sea. For what? Hope I get high power gas in my cab. We'll just hop across. Here we go. <laughs> oh well, nobody would have believed it anyway. Well, that's all for the Bob Hope Show. And now in the brief time remaining, let's go over to Sweet's Ballroom in Oakland, California for the jump king of swing, Lionel Hampton and his orchestra.
Yes, folks, that was right in the groove. Lionel Hanson and the very fine arrangement of all along. And now here's the newest member of the Hanson organization, Alice Lindsay, with Lionel Hanson playing, and her tears flowed like wine. snappy arrangement for the very snappy gal down in Washington to sing, There'll Be a Jubilee. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Keep your eyes clean and keep your lips. 